last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Hello, welcome to Young King Truth Teller. This is Kanye Tetsubo. I would like to talk about something I've been seeing a lot lately. Uh, people saying that black people can be racist. Well, according to their definition of what it is to be a racist, we as black people do not fit into that category. And let me read off a few of these definitions. Racism is prejudice, discrimination, and antagonistic directed against someone of a different race based on the belief that one's own race is superior. Now, that don't sound like someone black. Hold on. What it, what it means to be prejudiced? Oh, prejudice. Perceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. Oh my God. I mean, black people, we have a reason, if not more than enough reasons to dislike other races, because it seems, I mean, it seems like everybody treats us horribly. We have Asians in Africa treating black people horribly. We have white people in Africa treating black people horribly. We have Asians and whites and Hispanics in America and in South America treating black people horribly, whether they are Spanish speaking black or just in general black. So, wow. And since we have experience in these areas, I mean, can't be something. I mean, you tell me. And what it means to be discrimination. Let's see. The unjust or prejudiced treatment of different categories of people or things, especially on the grounds of race, age, or sex. Oh, God. Wow. Again, things that black people do not practice. Huh. Looks like we have to kill that whole Black people are racist and can practice racist and be racist. It looks like it. Because if you need all three of... If you need to be prejudiced and discriminate against people in order to be racist, then we're out running. And, I, I mean, last time, last time I checked, calling someone a name over their actions says a lot more than anything. Someone calling me the N-word versus actually stringing me up and lynching me or even denying me a job, a loan at the bank or if I do get the loan, they charge me at a higher interest rate because of course they're going to charge me at a higher interest rate. I'm black and housing is and and yeah, housing segregation and discrimination is still a real thing. Redlining, prison and school pipeline, mass incarceration. Wow, the list goes on and on of many things done against black people in the name of white superiority. Even though they are not superior, it's pure aggression against black people. They have built up this mind state that they are the superior ones, the Aryan race, that they are the ones who are truly in power, that they are the majority when they are in reality the minority. If you look at who are the minority of the world, they are black and brown. They no, we no, they are the minority. We are the majority. Is what I mean. Is that? And 
there's so little of them that they have to keep us oppressed to the point where many of us don't see it or those who do see it ref refuse to do anything about it. How is it that you, the minority, white people, took over the world? Let's see. You waged war and you also stole people's identity, erased their history, erased their language from them and gave them yours. They gave us theirs. But yeah, we're not supposed to be angry about all that, that we are the racist ones. We are the most racist people in their words. No, we are not. Saying and saying things like that only shows how racist you are. Because when we stand up for ourselves, we're, in, you know, in fact, in ta attacking your white aggression, your racist culture. So, when you hear other black people saying these things, you really do have to kind of question, do they know their history? Do they know what real racism is? Because if you're going based off of their definition, their word, their way of making it sound like everybody can be racist, even though the cousins of white aggression are, and they do practice it against black people and that's why white people will not accept them but accept them to an extent because they are also against black people so yeah pretty much yeah black people we're not racist nor can we be racist and those white people who do not know what real racism is we should not let them say what, or we shouldn't let them call us racist or say that we're practicing racism because we have a dislike for their white friend, their white family member, their white spouse. Because in the end, their white spouse or family member they are not going to stand up for them and truly say something you have to understand that racism goes far beyond just calling someone a name it's an action against a people it's an action that has affected the black lives for years it's an action that affects our mental health because we change our names from being sounds from sounding too black to oh hello my name is james the most widest sounding names you could think of. We change who we are when we go to their workplaces and we don't be ourselves because we don't want to be perceived as ghetto, loud, or some other negative stereotype. They can deny us jobs because we wear our hair in locks. Pretty much all of black culture has been attacked and is even being whitewashed by many of us letting white people in. Those comedians, those white comedians, Michael Rucker or whatever his name is, and what what are these guys' names? <sighs> 
because they are so irrelevant. But one of them did something that is not new. And pretty much it's it's been done and it's honestly played out. And we per yes, Gary Owen, him. <laughs> Do anybody remember when he would when he did that skit? Where he would say a word and then let his white let his black wife say the n word because he was so scared of saying it. Yeah, that's racism in itself. Yes, <laughs> and you have that other one, the Michael one. Both of them, they're not. Ex many black people accepted them. I don't understand why they are not cool. They should not be even accepted, but. What it's whatever people we have to stop accepting them, it's not going to make us be racist, nor is it going to be practicing racism. And we have to stop being afraid of being called racist or saying that, oh, you're practicing racism. Because obviously, if you know your history and you know everything that you know or can know. Did you know that you cannot be a racist or practice racism? Thank you for listening. And if you like the information I'm sharing, please support my Patreon page. I'm still trying to buy my books so I can finally release the Black History book, my short stories and poems. And all, all of this is on my Patreon page. You can find the link in the description. Thank you and goodbye.